Hello guys. There seems to be some debate about when you actually do need a TV license and there's been and for example um a YouTube um lawyer well he's a lawyer a barrister who also has a youtube channel has been discussing when you do and do not need a tv license and been talking about things like installation well i've gone on to the official tv licensing website okay this is the official uk tv licensing website and here this is what they have to say they have said if you don't watch or record live t or record TV live on any channel, stream programs live on an online TV service, or download or watch BBC programs on BBC iPlayer, you don't need a license. That paragraph says it all. I think, given that this is on the official UK TV licensing website, if they then tried to prosecute somebody, for, for doing something um, else when that sentence alone quite clearly states that they don't need a license unless they're doing any of those things I think somebody could claim in mitigation that um, they obeyed the law as best they saw it based on advice given by the official TV licensing authority on the official TV licensing website Lots of people have claimed that TV licensing go out their way to hide the truth. Some people claim that they're not honest about when you do and do not need a TV license. I don't agree. I think TV licensing have been very open, transparent and honest there in that sentence alone. Now, obviously, this is intended for normal members of the public. This is in a section called tenants and lodgers. But it would apply in this case to, I think, any house right um there may be exceptions for example if you run a pub and you want to show it to the whole there may be need a special broadcast license if you're a pub for example and you want to show i don't know a television match to lots of people in your pub that may be a different issue altogether i don't know about this but for ordinary people living in accommodation which they rent, for example, then this would apply. And it's also been the same for your own drone house. So TV license could not have been any clearer. If, for example, you were prosecuted for installing but not actually watching it, I think that would be pretty nasty and pretty mean, particularly as you could argue that on TV licensing's own website, they gave that advice and you took that... Um, in good faith and also there is something called written contract and this i believe would constitute as written contract in that tv licensing themselves are saying you don't need it unless you meet the criteria of doing any of those things so there you go for those people who say tv licensing aren't open and transparent about when you do and do not need a tv license to watch TV programs in Britain they couldn't have been in my view more clear and succinct in one sentence thanks for watching guys bye